Hello and welcome to another video. Today I'll be showing you how to make a dubstep in the style of Digital Mystics, taking influence from several tracks including Haunted. The project file, samples and presets are available in this description for a small contribution and please consider subscribing or liking the video if you enjoy the content. I've also recently re-released an improved version of my first serum pack which is up on my Bandcamp and linked in the description. We're at 140 BPM and in the key of F sharp Phrygian dominant. Digital mystics tend to favor harmonic minor scales and chromatic patterns like in Haunted. This is the kick. which is inspired by Lost City. Then we have the drums group. First, we have the snare, which hits on the third beat of every bar, although I've moved it back on the grid a little to create a laid back feel. This was made by layering several snare samples. These samples were then pitched down, tuned and EQ'd. You may recognize the snare and tambourine from the Think Break. Some of Digital Mystic snares have a live feel, so this is something I tried to capture by using a breakbeat snare. I've added vinyl distortion for grittiness and some EQ. Distortion plays an important role in this style, but it tends to be subtle warming as opposed to heavy saturation. Next, we have the clap, which sort of plays around the snare. If we look at the clap sample, we can see that it almost slaps back on itself and it's not been warped, adding to the looped loose feel. We have some shakers in a drum rack. Then we have the ride symbol, which only plays for the second four bars of the loop. And then finally, the tambourine. A similar quarter note focused tambourine pattern is found in Lost City. All the high frequency percussion is panned to create width. In the groove pool, we have an MPC groove which has been applied to all the drum MIDI aside from the kick and to the laser, which we'll see in a moment on the drums group. We have drum bus to glue everything together, an EQ and reverb is applied via send A and I've used this basement preset to reflect the environment that this music would be experienced in. Next we have the effects. which are this laser and a creepy impact. The laser has an EQ and W echo 
the FX have reverb applied via A. These effects create background ambience, which is crucial when making old style dubstep, since the arrangements can be sparse and textures and dubby effects help fill out the frequency spectrum. These are the basses, which are inspired by Haunted. <laughs> This is base one. Oscillator A is a sine wave taken down by two octaves, as is the sub oscillator, which is direct out. FM from B is active in a's warp menu and is being modulated by LFO1, which I'll talk more about in a sec. So A is being modulated by B, which is another sine wave, but its level has been taken to zero. So this strange shape LFO, LFO1, is in between a ramping up sawtooth and a sidechain. This was what seemed to work best for this bass and the slower attack adds to the lazy feel of the loop. The LFO is modulating both FM from B and the cutoff of this low pass filter which has some drive and resonance. The amp envelope is this triangular shape. In the effects, we have tube distortion with a filter. On the channel, we have an EQ3 to increase the sub. This is base two. This patch is almost identical to base one, but we have a single square wave in oscillator A and no FM synthesis. The LFO rate is one over four and it's a very slightly different shape. Again, there's distortion in the effects. On the channel, there's an EQ increasing the sub and another EQ to remove some mids, both on the channel. On the group, we have an EQ to remove rumble, glue compression, and subtle chorus to add some detuning. Reverb is applied via A. We have the leads, which are inspired by stuck and chamber. This is the saw lead. We have a saw wave passing through a low pass filter with its cutoff being modulated by LFO1 on envelope mode. In the effects, we have hyperdimension and distortion. Then we have the square leads. This is like the saw patch, but this time we have a square wave with its unison at five and the filters cut off again is being modulated by LFO1, which has a slightly different shape and rate to the square lead. There's some drive and resonance on the filter as well. In the effects, there's just distortion. On the group, we have an EQ, dotted eighth note echo, and bass mono. Reverb 
is applied via send a and that is the video i hope you enjoyed it and i will see you next time